One out of every six women in the U.S. is a victim of sexual violence. That's according to the latest statistics. Now a local survivor tells us what she's doing to help herself and others. News 8 Now's Tyler Job has the story. Good evening, Mike and Martha. Michaela is a high school senior in Winona and former client at what used to be called the Women's Resource Center. But recently the organization changed its name to the Advocacy Center of Winona. Why? Because sexual violence can happen to anybody. And Michaela is using her story to inspire others to make their voices heard. I just tried to put all my emotion into writing and music and just something that kept my mind off it. Michaela didn't know what to do. I pushed my, all my emotions to the side and I just kind of said, I'll deal with it tomorrow. And I just kept saying that and saying that and saying that. But if you don't say anything, you're going to be stuck battling yourself forever. She decided to get help in her freshman year. They were a resource like that just to listen. Listening to her story and finding out she is a sexual abuse survivor. I remember I, I would talk nonsense, like words didn't make sense in sentences because um, I didn't know how to say it. The Resource Center's name at the time only included women. We've always offered services for everyone. But realizing sexual violence can happen to anyone, they changed their name, knowing all survivors have a story to tell. Changing it to the Advocacy Center has been a way to ensure that we don't utilize a gender binary and we're inclusive of the spectrum of genders. Michaela realized getting help was one of the best decisions she's ever made. And then because of that, I came back and now I'm an intern. <laughs> So it's great. Now she is using her story to inspire not just other women, but everyone. I love the idea that I can accept what happened and that I can use it to help others because a lot of people won't say anything. And I remember being that person, like I can't say anything, feeling really numb, like I don't know what to do, um, which is why I do what I do now. Now, Michaela tells me she's using her platform for a fundraiser in April, which is Sexual Awareness Month. The fundraiser is a part of her capstone project she's doing for school. All right, thanks a lot, Tyler. The Resource Center opened in 1978. It is the only 24-hour crisis line in Winona County.